Welcome to the big show. This is Investing with Confidence. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. As always, on this rainy Saturday morning, I have my good friend and my good pal, and it is not raining in studio. Al, how are you doing today? You know what? I am doing fantastic. And we are staying dry in here, which is a good thing. Al, we had a phenomenal market uh, this week in the stock market. Um, Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence, has been teaching people just like you for over 24 years how to use the market for income potential. Now, that could be during your working years or during retirement. And with this stock market, there was a ton of opportunities. I feel like it is Oprah today. Here's an opportunity. There's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity. But it's not under your chair. You've been watching too much TV, Josh. I have been. It's not under your chair, but it is in the markets. So let's talk about that today. Yeah. The, the stock markets had a great week. There was an up week for the S&Ps, the Dow, the NASDAQ. We had a little bit of a drop with oil. I shouldn't say not a little drop, but a large drop with oil this week. The dollar, we've been talking about the supply zone that has been coming off for the past few weeks, getting back near to that uh, supply zone. And I'll tell you what, Bitcoin and Ethereum, it is on fire. It mm-hmm. is back. But don't be too sure. We have a nice little supply zone for some some potential selling coming up here. And that's some of the things we're going to talk about here today on Investing with Confidence is how to use supply and demand within your investment decisions. Before we get into that, Al, what's been happening with these markets? How can we participate for our benefits? Well, a a lot of things have been going on. We're seeing a lot of volatility out there. You know, we still have the coronavirus issue that keeps raising its ugly head. There's still a little concern about inflation. Uh, we've got earnings, uh, kind of have gone through earnings season. You know what? There's a lot of things going on, Josh, and, and it's created a lot of volatility in the market. Is that a bad thing? That's a no, great that's thing. absolutely what we look for. That is the best situation that we can hope for as traders in these markets because there are opportunities that are being presented on a regular basis. Uh, you know, and here's the interesting thing, Josh, when we have these classes here, we always start out by asking people, you know, what's what do you want to achieve with your investment strategy? Mm-hmm. And you know what we hear? In fact, we had a class and still going on today. Yeah, what are and, some of those things you hear? Well, here's the question was, you know, what do you want to achieve with your with your investment strategy? The answer from every man in the class, I want to make money. I want to make a lot of money. How about the women? There was one woman who said, I don't want to lose. And there you know you what go. the right answer to that question was? It's you don't want to lose. Exactly. That is the most important thing. The reason that there's such a gap between people's expectations and reality is that they concentrate too much on, I want to make money. If you concentrate on that risk management part, you will, in fact, make more money. And in, in, if, you, if you're just concentrating on making money, you probably aren't going to do it. That's where the, the issues come mm-hmm. in. The conflicts come in. And and here's the key. The uh, the truth is the smaller the risk, you know, the better your risk management techniques are, the greater the potential for large returns becomes for you. And there's a direct relationship between management of risk and the amount of profit potential you can have. And it also means that you'll never have a, a big loss. That That's key. So in order to be able to do that properly, though, you have to know what and who impacts price movement. And that's what we show you in these classes. You mentioned supply zone and demand zones. You know, those are things that we show you in these classes. We talk about how important it is to be able to identify those because that really gets down to identifying the number one thing that is the most important single component of successful trading, and that's price. Uh, And that's what really is going to determine the quality of any trade or investment you make, the quality of your risk management, and the quality and the amount of profit that you can have. And and to understand that, you need to just accept this one fact, and that's that it's big money moving in and big money moving out of the market. That's what moves price. So who's the big money? It's what I'm going to call them the elephants. We talked okay. before about elephants the elephant leaving in the a, room, the elephant <laughs> in the room, or the elephant leaving big, big footprints in the mud. The elephants are Wall Street banks, big uh, people like Warren Buffett, hedge funds that have hundreds of billions of dollars to invest. You know, and some people say, well, why don't I just give my money to them? Why don't I give my money to a hedge fund? Well, if you've got five or 10 or $20 million, yeah, they might take you. But they're also going to charge you maybe 3% in fees and take 20% of the profit. Uh, and a lot of them are closed to, to new investors. So what do you do? People then go to a financial advisor with firms that uh, are, are more 
acceptable to smaller accounts. Yeah, and the unfortunate thing is the advisors and brokers are putting typically, or, or I guess sometimes, people, their investments and decisions that benefits the advisor and the broker. There's fees right. that come along. And that's why we're seeing so many people want to understand, how do I do it myself? What are some of the techniques? What are the tools I can use? The great thing Al was talking about earlier is volatility. Our strategy loves volatility. Mm-hmm. It's it's great. You want moves to happen sooner than later. And that's what that just brings. It's a great opportunity in the markets. It all comes down to how the markets actually work and its supply and demand for those big money, the institution, what Al is talking about with the elephants in the room moving these markets and you need to manage your capital properly and al you talk a lot about that in these investing classes talk about how to you know how how people can build confidence to learn where to buy and sell but also self-directing opportunities so i want to give away some tickets to this investing class that al teaches right here in bloomington when you call in right now you're going to receive two tickets for this class you're also going to receive the financial quick start kit when you attend 952-814-4410. That's 952-814-4410. You can also text the word invest to the number 484848. You receive a text back right away with a link to register for the class. Make sure to pick a date when you do that, and that'll get you that quick start kit when you attend. Al, what do you got coming up next? Well, let's let's do this. Let's talk about what it is that results in some people struggling financially and it gives other people the opportunity for financial security and the opportunity to build wealth. Yeah, it's really the smart money or the, the the capital exchanging money from the people that don't know what they're doing to the people that do, how that happens and how we can get out of that struggle bus. Once again, for two tickets, 952-814-4410 or text the word invest to the number 484848 for two tickets. This is Josh and Al, Investing with Confidence. We will be right back. <laughs> 